So first it was deep fakes, and now the White House is spinning another deflection as they take heed over their federal hurricane response. Watch. There's a lot of misinformation, and I, I beseech you, I beg you to please not pay attention to it. Sir, what's the risk of political figures sharing misinformation during this time? It misleads people, it puts people in circumstances where they panic, where they really, really, really worry. So I'm going to divorce the, the disinformation that is being spread from any one uh, individual mm -hmm. and just say this. Disinformation harms survivors of a disaster because they lose trust in their government. There is not enough money right now for his people values, in North Carolina who his, need it. That's not misinformation. Wait. No, that is. Wait, your, whole, your whole premise of the question is misinformation, sir. It's, what you don't. Me, yes, yes, it's misinformation. You can't and it's there. That you don't like misinformation. Outnumber co-host and former White House press, uh, press secretary Kaylee McEnany joins us now. So, Kaylee, um, this is like the boy who cried wolf. There's actual disinformation out there. But when you keep crying disinformation, when you really need to warn the public, they don't listen. Yeah, I thought that exactly yesterday. This discredits your, you know, any assertion right. you make about disinformation when you are saying that basic questions from That's the press right. are misinformation. Look, Corrine Jean-Pierre, let me just address that last one. When you're press secretary, you have a crisis on your hands. Very simple three-part thing you do. Number one, call DHS. I would call the Dep Department of Homeland Security and say, I want to TikTok of everything you've done. I want to know the level of resources you have. Just like I did with COVID, you call the supply chain coordinator, Admiral Polovchek, let me know what PPE you sent out. Number two, you go talk to the president. Number three, you go talk to the press. What you don't do is scream misinformation. That's what you do when the facts are on, on your side. And if you do think something's misinformation, don't scream misinformation. Challenge the premise of the question, like I would do with Jim Acosta. Hey, Jim, you're quoting Trump there, but you left out the second part of the quote. What's the second part of the quote? And he would never have that on hand. Problem is, Peter Ducey was exactly right. Facts were on his side. 157 million is going to Lebanon when people are hurting here. He had the facts. Corrine Jean-Pierre had superfluous talking points. Mm -hmm. So I, let's talk about that a little bit because I was just there in North Carolina. How's the PR on this? Because when I went there on the ground, you see the people crying out for help. You see the private organizations that are on the ground. Is the White House accomplishing anything? When it, is the American public believing them when they say FEMA is there and, and, and they're managing this perfectly? No, I mean, you saw it with your own yeah. eyes. You said this morning, you see unmarked vehicles. You know, where is the government personnel on the ground? I heard Save Our Allies, Tim Kennedy there, talking in detail um, and being very gentle in his criticism of how he has been there when the federal government has not. Look, are they doing what they can? Sure. Great but hearts. they've mismanaged resources right. entirely. And that doesn't come from FEMA on the ground. They're doing good work. It comes from the top. It said all when DHS, when Mayorkas, said we don't have enough we think to get through hurricane season why money's going to lebanon <laughs> and people outside of the places that need it 31 million americans in disaster zones in this country 31 million 200 counties and we're sending money to lebanon it, it's just the the parallel and, and the contrast when you look at it and the american people are giving people but when their concerns aren't met they get a little frustrated about that, rightfully so. Uh, Kaylee, I I'm sure you've had to deal with crises in the White House. I don't think telling the press disinformation was enough when you were back in there. I dealt with all of COVID-19, and we listed out every day the mask and PPE we sent out. But that wasn't enough for the press. That's exactly right. If you want more, Kaylee, and I know you do, <laughs> watch Outnumbered at noon today. Thank you, Kaylee. Thanks. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilney. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.